Hi, this is Bill Livensey, and I'm uh, here to answer your question about the electric field. I did a drawing because usually that's the best way for us to uh, figure out exactly what the situation is. This is a side view of an electric field going through a thin plate. Note that the electric field is a constant. It has lines equals equally space along the uh, along the uh, length of the of the area. Now Gauss's law starts with the surface and that that's the surface of the area through which the electric field goes and we just said that it was a constant gauss's law is defined as the electric field ele uh, over the air uh, times the area which is e because you can pull that out of the integral times dA. Now, I, I kind of assume that maybe you aren't uh, into, the, um, into the integrals. So let's, uh, let's look at it this way. The, the Gauss's law is the electric field times the area that's parallel or perpendicular to the electric field. And that is going to be 15,000 newtons per coulomb times two meters squared, since the two meters squared is parallel to the uh, perpendicular to the um, electric field. That's equal to 30,000 newton meters squared per coulomb. Hope this helps.